What's up, everybody? Today, we're answering the question of what you should do if you have zero dollars in your savings account. So I'm gonna give you three practical steps that you can start doing today, and one bonus tip if you stay till the end. Let's go. <laughs> See, The Motley Fool did a recent study this last year that showed that 45% of Americans have zero dollars in their savings account. That's right, zero, a big fat goose egg. But not only that, that same study showed that 69% of Americans had less than $1,000 in savings. So today, we're gonna work through three things that you can do to start building your savings and building out an emergency fund today. Now, you might be watching this and thinking, Clyde, why did this even matter? If the average American has no money in their savings account, why should I? Well, the reality is most people don't actually make bad financial decisions because they chose it. More often than not, it's because they feel like they have no other option and they feel backed into a corner that then leads to bad decision after bad decision. And you still might be asking that question, why should I have an emergency fund? Why should I have money and savings tucked away should something happen? And so today, I want to tell you Bob's story. See, Bob is like the average American and doesn't have any money and savings. So Bob's on his way to work and guess what? His transmission in his car goes out. So what does Bob do? Bob calls up the local mechanic, says, hey, I need a new transmission, and the cost is gonna be $1,000. So Bob has no money in savings, so what does he do? He swipes his handy-dandy credit card for $1,000 and says, I'll pay that off next paycheck. Now, Bob thinks he's gonna pay it off with his next paycheck, but the reality is Bob is the average American, so it's not next paycheck or the next one, or even the next one after that. Bob goes down the route of making minimum payments and finds himself 11 months later still paying off that $1,000 on the transmission. And now Bob isn't just paying for the transmission that he's still working through 11 months later, but now he's tacked on a vacation he probably shouldn't have taken. He had to take a week or two off of work. He's had to float his bills during that time, and now he's racked up eight even $9,000 on his credit card. And all this because Bob didn't have any money in savings and he didn't have an emergency fund. So don't be like Bob. So right now, I'm gonna give you the top three things that I would do if I had zero dollars in savings and things that you can start doing today to start building out your emergency fund. And coming in at number three is to stop eating out. CNBC did an interesting study that looked at multiple generations and asked them the question, where are you wasting the most of your money? And crazy enough, from the baby boomers to Generation X to millennials, they all had the same number one answer. It was eating out. Now, I'm not saying you should starve yourself just to put money into savings or to build out your emergency fund, but you would be blown away at how much you could save by not eating out for two or even three weeks just by packing your lunch or by making dinner at home. Now, it might not sound like a lot, but it all adds up. And coming in at number two is selling stuff that you don't use or need. Now, you'd be surprised if you went through the things that you owned and you asked yourself the question, is this something that I have or I will use within the next 12 months, and is it something that I could sell online? It's crazy how many people have unused weight sets, how they have unused electronics, or just things that they bought that they realized they didn't need in the long run, that they could sell online and make a hundred to even a thousand dollars just by jumping on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist and making a few bucks to throw into savings and to build out an emergency fund. And the number one and most powerful way for you to start saving and to build an emergency fund is to rework your budget and create margin for your savings. See, this is such a common theme when it comes to personal finance because the reality is your budget is ultimately what's driving your ability to invest and to save. And if you haven't implemented a budget yet, click the link above or in the description and check out our video on budgeting for beginners and start that journey today. But seriously, if you want to start putting money into savings and build out your emergency fund, the number one way for you to do that is to start looking at that budget and reallocating your dollars and telling them where to go and to specifically funnel them into your savings account. Now, it might be painful to create that sacrifice and to create that margin to put into savings and to create that emergency fund, but what's more painful than that is having no emergency fund at all and having to throw things on the credit card just because you weren't able to plan. And lastly, my bonus financial hack when it comes to building out your savings in an emergency fund is this brilliant idea actually have a savings account. So often people have their checking accounts or their debit accounts and they funnel everything into those same exact accounts and then they plan on saving, but they don't actually have a separate account. 
And so for most people, if it's in their account where they spend money from, they're ultimately gonna spend that money, which means they're not actually putting money into savings. But something that we found super effective for us is actually having a designated account that is literally for just that, savings. It is money that only goes in and money that doesn't come out unless it's an absolute emergency or we're trying to make moves in our finances. And really for us, it's become almost a fun game and an adventure to see how we can grow our savings over time. And as we look at our budget every single month, we're seeing how we can grow our savings account. Now, not every bank has free savings account or free checking accounts. And so if you're interested in opening up a savings account for free, I've recently come across an amazing app called Yada Savings. Now, a free account is cool. But what's really fun about Yada Savings is they've actually taken an idea from UK where they basically have savings accounts that are set up for prizes. And so for every $25 that you put into your savings account, you actually get a ticket where you're able to win prizes, anything from 10 cents to $10 million to even a Tesla. And it's a really cool and fun way to start saving and start building up that savings account. Now to all my skeptics out there, Don't be wrong, Yada Bank is utilizing an actual bank that they're putting your money into so it's insured by the FDIC for up to $250,000. And additionally, even if you don't receive money from your prizes throughout time, you're still guaranteed a 0.02% on the savings that you have in there, which is about the average for any other savings account. And so for me personally, I started trying this out and over the last two months, I've actually made 0.5% on the money that I've had invested, which is about 50 times better and more than what I was making from the bank I had it in. But no matter what, make sure you have a specific account that's for savings and for your emergency fund. So whether you go with Yada Bank or you open up an account at your bank, make sure you have a place that's designated, that's off limits for your savings and is for your emergency fund. And lastly, I wanna leave you with this amazing proverb. It says that the wise thinks ahead, but the fool does not and even brags about it. So start your journey today of saving and putting money towards your emergency fund so that you can be like the wise man who is thinking ahead and is prepared for his finances and his financial journey. Well, hey, before we get out of here, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed and help spread the word as we help people take their finances to the next level. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Peace.